I just would like for you all to sit back and watch a video testimony of a very precious celebrity that was impacted with the gospel of grace. And uh, he flew all the way from L.A. just to be at Lakewood, where my friend Joel Osteen had me preaching that Sunday, just so that they can be in the service. I want you to sit back and listen and watch. Enjoy. one out to left. And Albert drives one out to center field. Balls hit. And that is smoked out to center field. Choice is back. Hamilton pulls. Skies one out to left field. Albert drives one to the alley in right center field. Marquette is not going to get there. That is off the wall. Now the one, two. Albert drives one out to left center field. This pass hit well. There she goes. Welcome to the 500 home run club. For me, it's so hard, you know, because our schedule during the season, traveling, uh, you know, we play 162 games during the year. Uh, to be able to watch the server whenever I can, it's just a blessing. It's almost like bringing church to your own home. His ministry, what he's doing uh, on this earth is just amazing. Mm -hmm. and just uh, a simple CD popping around the car, you know, hearing his ministry whenever you can. You can watch it on TV. We record most of his service so we can watch it late at night. And uh, it just said, truly being a true blessing. I think the revelation that's happening through his ministry, um, the way he unveils Jesus, for as, mm -hmm. lo as long as I had been saved, had, had never fallen in, Jesus, in, in love with Jesus the way that I have, um, being able to see uh, more of him through Joseph Prince's ministry. It is an endless um, uh, opportunity for learning, I believe. That, uh, that he's pr bringing to the world because it's fresh and it's new and it's, um, and it's holy. Pastor Prince, uh, it was a blessing to be able to meet you and, uh, and I think that um, my family is very grateful for your ministry and the way that um, you are unveiling Jesus to this world um, and to each person individually and your message of grace and uh, is like no other we've ever heard. So we're very grateful and blessed to be able to have you uh, in our lives on a daily basis. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the opportunity. I know your schedule is so busy to come to the United States, obviously, and, uh, and preach here at Lakewood Church. Uh, it's been a blessing uh, what you've done through your ministry, and congratulations on your new church to be mm -hmm. blessed. Church, welcome to New Creation Church. Albert Pujols and his beautiful wife, Didi. Welcome. You know, this, this one takes the cake. When I was there at Joe Osteen's in Lakewood in Houston, he flew all the way, they flew all the way from, Houston, uh, from L.A. just to be in Houston. This time, he flew all the way from the States just to be with us in this service. What do you say to that, man? You know, I had a chance, an opportunity to spend time with them um, in the green room in Lakewood Church. And just that little time that I spent with them, you know, all the accolades that, that he, has, uh, he has been awarded, like Major League Baseball, uh, Most Valuable Player, three times. All stars nine times, and you look at the list, it goes on and on and on. And he's known as the LeBron James of baseball. But if you look at all that and you just put that aside and you look at the person himself, and everywhere that I see a write up, you know, they, they'll talk about his chief aim in his life is to glorify Jesus. Yeah. And uh, just 
the man himself and his lovely wife, I'm telling you, I, you know, behind every successful man, <laughs> I'm telling you, the wife carries weightiness when she talks, when she shares. And you know that the Hebrew word for glory is kavod. Just her presence, just when she shares. And I was very Im impressed and impacted just in that short time. You know, yes, thank God for all that the Lord has done through his, his, uh, his role as a celebrity in baseball. But more importantly, they have a heart for children. They have a heart for those, and they, are, they have outreaches. They are doing things for the Lord. And I'm telling you, church, at the end of everything, a true celebrity is someone who has Jesus in the center of their lives. And that's the reason they are so blessed. No scandal. Only people are jealous. Amen? What a life and what a testimony to the glory of Jesus. And they have beautiful children. I met their precious boy, and my goodness, I was telling myself, I want Justin to grow up to be like this boy. He was so well-behaved. He was so, you know, cultured and well-mannered that I told myself, yes, Justin will be like this one day. He's running all over the place, but... True success is when your family is serving the Lord. Amen? No point being a public success but a private failure. So that is truly an honor to the glory of our Lord Jesus. And for that, I thank you for your lives and your testimony. And they are my dear friends.